Hey everybody, this is Troy with eBuzz Central. Today we're taking a look at eLive OS. It's based on Debian in the Enlightenment desktop environment. But before we get started, please do me a favor. Like, subscribe, or follow my channel. It doesn't cost anything, and if you end up not liking me, you can always unsubscribe. If you like the channel and you like the videos that we do, you can support us by buying us a cup of coffee, becoming a patron to the channel over on Patreon, or you can actually become a member now on YouTube. Let me ask you a question. Do you have a computer that's 10 years old? Heck, do you have a computer that's 15 years old and you don't want to part with it, but you want to make it useful again? I'm telling you right now, download eLive OS, put it on that computer, and it will be up and operating before you know it. And it will be doing it quickly. First thing we're going to do is we're going to go to their website, elivecd.org, and they say maybe the best Linux OS ever made and probably the only distro you'll stay with. But it's not for everyone. Are you the exception? And basically, you come down here, let you know that it's virus protected, cost free, intuitive, super fast. You can do it in a live mode. Try before you install. Applications. It's a non-commercial, cost free operating system made for daily use. And it states right here, turn that up to 15 year old equipment into high performance machine with a dazzling interface. You can have it up and running in two minutes. And guys, let me tell you, this is very, very impressive. This virtual machine that I'm using, I have issued three gigabytes of RAM and two CPUs, and this is a very snappy operating system. I'll make sure to include the link down below in the description. I'm going to go ahead and close out of the browser now. It does come with Google Chrome out of the box. You can change that, obviously, but if you download it, throw it on a USB, put it in a virtual machine, and boot it up, this is the desktop you're met with. It does not have a welcome screen. It does have a wallpaper gallery that goes through several different wallpapers. They're pretty nice, actually. And you've got 12 different desktops up here that you can use. You can see them right there. And then you come down bottom. You've got your Wi-Fi. You've got your battery level. And then, of course, you come across here and you've got your dock. First thing I'm going to do is open up the terminal. Let's go ahead and maximize that. And we'll put in HTOP. And as you can see... I'm running a whopping 230 megabytes out of the three gigabytes I have issued in RAM to this machine. That is just amazing. This is the lowest resource memory I have ever seen on a distribution that I've looked at. I have issued two CPUs to this machine and we are using about 2% of those two CPUs. I'm going to go ahead and back out and close the terminal. That is very lightweight. I'm going to right click real quick and it opens up preferences. Let's go ahead and open up preferences. You can change settings on your file manager, customize look and feel, screen settings, admin of shared, network connections, elementary config, Adobe Flash Player, preferred applications, screen settings, volume control. Let's go back. Then you've got screen. You can adjust the backlight, blanking, screen lock, virtual desktops, so as you can see, there's plenty of ways to adjust your preferences on here. So I'm going to go ahead and close out. That is an awesome looking background. I love the look and feel of this operating system. And then if you come down to the bottom, you've got terminal, you've got chat, you've got files. Let's open that up. And there is your file manager. Let's go ahead and move this down here. Make it just a hair bigger. And you've got your usual suspects over here. And then right here, you got your home folders. And if I'm correct, this is Thunar. Let's take a look at it. About Thunar 1.2.3. So that's Thunar File Manager in the eLive OS. Light, fast, stays out of your way and lets you get things done. So let's close out of that. It comes with Google Chrome. You've got Music Player. You've got Photo Manager, Image Editor. Let's see if that's GIMP. And that is GIMP. So you do have GIMP installed out of the box. And that popped up rather quickly. So you have GIMP. So let's go ahead and close out of that. Let's go back down here. Word processor. It's LibreOffice. This is impressive, guys. And there's LibreOffice. You can start doing work right off the bat. So let's go ahead and close out of that. Come back down to the bottom. You've got Sun VirtualBox installer of packages and applications. Let's see what we got here. Synaptic Package Manager. Those of you who know me know that I love Synaptic Package Manager. So you can just come down through here. You can look for different applications that you want. Or you should be able just to go up here and do a search for something like Caden Live search. And it shows Caden Live highlighted over here. And there it is right there. You would just mark it. Mark for installation. These are all the dependencies you would need. Mark those. Once you have that done, just click apply and it would install it right onto your system. So I'm going to close out of that. Synaptic Package Manager is awesome. Let's quit. Search for files. Hotkeys. Install eLive. 
It's got nice little animations, like if you go over here to the photo, it flashes at you. Music player has the levels, files, chat, terminal. Right click gives us your preferences like we were looking at a while ago. Programming videos, applications. Your applications are right here, so we can go accessories, double click, and then we can go back. Internet, you've got Chrome, Lynx, NetSurf, Nicotine, Opera's installed out of the box, Firefox, file management, we were just on. Let's go to sound. Audacious, Audacity, Mix, Music Brains, Rhythm Box, Volume Control, Web Apps, Graphics. We know we got GIMP. You've got Darktable and Blender, Illicit, ePhoto, Inkscape, My Paint, Raw Therapy, Shotwell, Trimage, Image Compressor, Video. You've got Avid Mux installed out of the box, Cinerella, DVD Encoder, Voco Screen, VLC, XBMC Media Center. Uh, let's go back. Office. So you got LibreOffice, you got the full Office Suite. You even have LibreCAD, your computer-aided drafting, and Scribus. Let's go back. Games. You've got emulators, arcade. Let's click on arcade. Super Mario War. Fury of the Furries. Let's go back. Adventure. And puzzles. So you've got quite a bit here, guys. Let's go ahead and go back. Education. Calibre. Ebook Reader. Clavero. Web Applications. Programming. Text editor. Let's go back. I'm sorry if I'm going slow here. I'm just very impressed by everything here. Applications, administration. You've got a Conky, HTOP, Synaptic Package Manager, System Monitor. Let's see what System Monitor says we're using. On memory, out of the three gigabytes, it says I'm using 226 megabytes. CPUs using about anywhere between 5 and 10%. This is impressive. This is extremely lightweight, guys. Let's go back over to applications. Where were we at? Preferences. Let's come down here. Print settings, screen settings. Let's go back and then install eLive. Guys, this has got some great software on it. And quite honestly, I am very impressed. As lightweight as it is, if you do have an older machine, heck, if you have a newer machine and you want that thing to fly and be able to get work done, this is definitely an OS to take a look at. Then you've got your settings, then you've got your plugins. I'm very impressed, guys. Just giving it a little test drive and taking a real quick look at it. It comes with a ton of applications out of the box. It comes with Enlightenment Desktop. You're only using 225 megs to be in the desktop. And then everything else can be utilized to do the work that you need to do. You know, if you've got a 10-year-old, 15-year-old computer and you want to bring that thing back to life, this is definitely the OS to take a look at. Let me know what you think. Is this something you might download, put on a USB, put in a virtual box and take for a test drive? Let me know in the comments below. Do me a favor before you leave today. Please like, subscribe, or follow my channel doesn't cost anything, and if you end up not liking me, you can always unsubscribe. If you like the channel and enjoy the videos that we produce, you can support us by buying us a cup of coffee or becoming a patron to the channel over on Patreon. Those links will be in the description below. But if you don't want to go that far, zip on over to the channel's main page and look at our membership levels. You can become a member of eBuzz Central. Thank you for watching the video, and I will see you in the next video.